afternoon, everybody. A happy Easter to you. Welcome to York Road, the home ground of Maynard United, for this afternoon's National League clash between the home side and Aldershot Town. My name is Keith Higgins. I'll be your commentator for today's game, and I'm joined by Michael Shapiro. Welcome, Michael. Good afternoon, Keith. We'll have a look at the form of the two sides shortly, but we'll start with the changes to each side. Started with the away team, Aldershot make two changes from the starting lineup, which drew one all at home to Solihull Moors last Saturday. James Daly and Stuart O'Keefe come in. Top uh, goal scorer Laurent Tollard drops uh, to the bench, as does the manager's son, Theo Widrington. For Maidenhead, they make three changes from the starting lineup that lost 1 0 to Rochdale last Saturday. I'm sure home fans will be disappointed to hear that Reece Smith, who was injured and substituted at half time against Rochdale, hasn't made the squad today, still recovering from that injury, but more than adequate replacement with Sam Barrett coming into the team. Also coming in today are Zico Azare and Charlie Adams, in for Will de Havilland and Kane Ferdinand. Just before we look at the form of the two sides, uh, notice that uh, the away fans to our right have decided to throw a couple of flares into the penalty area, which is uh, not the sort of thing that uh, we really want to see at a football match. Hopefully it won't uh, disrupt the start of the game. But anyway, free kick for them. Sam Barrett on the far side to take it. Keep talking, Z. Keep talking. Crowd of players all in the same area. You can see Casey Pettit there amongst them. Remy Clarima in that little huddle there just outside the six yard box. And he's gone in! Did he get a deflection or did he go straight in? I think he's gone straight in from Sam Barrett's free kick. We're in the third minute and the home side already got the lead. Maynard United won. Aldershot nil. Corner comes in. Dangerous. And it's there. Karima. Definitely that time he's goal. Stealing in at the back post. Not picked up by Aldershot. We only just had five minutes. And Maynard are two goals up. Maynard United two. Aldershot town nil. Well, he's two thirds of the way there. And George will pick up the loose ball. His second ball is on the edge of the penalty area. Barrow with the cross in. Give me a chance to make sure I pronounce the goalkeeper for all to shot correctly. Jordi van Stakoshoef. Hobbling. Charlie Adams is back on, so they're back up to their full complement. But Sore certainly trying to run off. His overhand picks up the loose ball. It runs into the penalty area. Oh, he didn't hit his shot hard enough, and it was an easy save for. Van Staffers show us. But obviously today they've, they've yet to net, so they're going to need at least two to get back into the game today, so they're going to have to rely on those strikers. Good strong running by Frost. And on the far side, chance opening up now for... Got there by Azare, two blocks by Azare. It was only Scott breaking forward. Klarima would certainly fit in a ride back. Barrett gets the ball. Is he trying the shot? I think he is. From inside his own half, I'm putting that down as an attempt on goal. Look over the header. Oh, look how close down. Sandor. There's the post. Cleared off the line, I think. I think it might have been. It was Daly with the shot, and uh, I think it might have been Azare there who cleared the ball off the line. A valuable clearance. All the shots first. Glimpse of goal and almost getting that. Well, it was almost prophetic there, Michael, wasn't it? Just watch as Sam Barras picked up the loose ball. Clearly fouled there by Frost. Fine Stokes. Don't forget they got their leading goal scorer on the bench today. Tolo, it's a nice ball. Frost cross it back. Just palmed away there by Frost. By Ross rather and uh, Fairfield. Well, he did the right thing, but uh, totally overhit his shot. And uh, that ball landed in the car park, Michael. They're with moving forward with purpose. Got all the way through. Chance for Abraham's. Just a little bit slow with the shot, but Beckwith does ever so well. Stumble still gets the ball to Abrahams. 
Mitchell Lawson. Great play by Sam Backwith. Mitchell Lawson. Calls to Backwith. I think that's gone out for a throw in. Jamie couldn't convert a good one on one chance he had off in the early part of the game as Barrett tries a curler. Had a good view of that, he was always going over the bar, but uh, just a reminder that uh, Sam Barrett still got a, well that was his right foot and uh, not too bad with his right foot either. Not Sorry quite, Michael. Not quite sure what Barrett was doing there, I think he got hit that one first time. He's he got sort of stuck under his feet yeah. a bit I think and then he found himself with the back to goal and obviously wanted to try and tee someone up as Zare, not a good touch. Stokes. Dandor with the shot, got back to Rima, that for uh, I think all the shots first corner. Look. Tolle Edge recognisable by his ponytails. Swiss player. Oh, a poor clearance and chance for Man Mitchell Lawson to break forward. Tries the shot and it got a deflection off Hadfield head Hadfield and Nice flick by Barrett. Trying to twist and turn and gets away. Low cross, oh! Ryan Peters was jumping up and down there and Nathaniel Jordan got a bit of space to run. He's got Barrett on his left. Not a great touch by Barrett and uh, Gadji blocks the shot. But somehow Barrett manages to turn beautifully. Fires in a cross and there's no one there to convert her. What would have been an empty net? We could say four. four they yeah. got uh, Tollard, they got Thomas, got Daly and Gandor. Might be interesting to see if we can work out what their formation is as uh, Abraham starts to break forward but uh, cleared by Glover. But Pettit will find Adams, good turn by Charlie Adams. Try the shot and I thought it might have had a slight deflection there but I think that was the wind taking it away and it's gone out for the goal kick. Samuel George turned into traffic but managed to get the ball to Pettit. Beckwith, Nathaniel George. Gets the ball to the bar line as he puts in the penalty area. The penalty! Nathaniel Jules turned beautifully, got to the bar line. Clumsy challenge by the Aldershot defender. Seen a pretty clear penalty to me and uh, chance for me to really cement their lead here. Yeah, I'll say. And I think it was a, yellow, a, a double yellow card, sorry, a yellow card for Kaji, and I think he's off. Stafford got a hand to it but couldn't push it wide, push it into the side net. And Charlie Adams gets a third goal for Maidenhead, Maidenhead three. All the shot down there and... Abraham's. And he's got another penalty. As he tried to turn Harris. He got clipped and referee Johnson decided that was inside the penalty area and Maynard have got another penalty. Slightly cheaper one than the one before. In other words, I thought the one before was more clear cut, Michael, but uh, well, another one is sending off. I think that was a straight red card. Is that Magoma, the subs? Yeah, Magoma's just been sent off. He's only been on the field for a, a minute or two. Let's watch this penalty by Charlie Adams. And he scores! Maynard four. All the shot down nil. This is going to be quite a day for Maynard, isn't it, Michael? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a dream day for them, isn't it, really? I mean... So, Maynard with their last, probably the last attack of the game. I think the referee's playing the final whistle, he has. Final whistle here at Yule Road, and what an eventful game we've had today. He's finished. Maynard United 4, Aldershot Town 0.